going to be showing you how to make churro French toast. So it's basically little like French toast sticks that are dipped in an orangey custard, cooked and then rolled in cinnamon sugar. They're amazing. So let's go ahead and get started with this recipe. First, let's go over the ingredients. So you're gonna need heavy cream, eggs, an orange, brown sugar, some salt, bread that is sliced into thick slices or an entire loaf that you just slice yourself. Also some cinnamon and white sugar. So you're gonna start off with grabbing your bread and I am using like pre-sliced bread, but I bought some that is specifically sliced into thick slices, so it's okay. And you're just gonna cut off the edges of it because you only want, you know, like the white part. And then you're gonna cut it into these little bread sticks. I basically just cut each uh, slice into three and it made like the perfect size for this then take these and put them onto a baking sheet and put them into the oven for 10 minutes now we're gonna make the custard and for this you're gonna mix together your heavy cream and your eggs All right, so once that's mixed through, you're gonna grab an orange and you're going to sust the entire orange and add that into the custard. This is honestly like my favorite part of the custard. It adds so much flavor and I would definitely recommend that you do not skip this part. Now we just sweeten it with a tiny bit of sugar, not too much because it's not where our main like sweetness of this recipe is coming from. We also add some cinnamon into it. And another really important part is a bit of salt to really like bring all the flavors together. So set that aside and make your cinnamon sugar, which is made with cinnamon and sugar. Now we start assembling everything so. As you just heard there, our bread is really crunchy. That's exactly what you want. And you're gonna put them into our custard to soak. And you wanna make sure that each like batch that you're soaking soaks for at least one minute. You really want this to like absorb all that liquid. And I like to just soak all of them, put them onto a baking like sheet and take this over to my pan where I add canola oil and butter. You want both of them and you're kind of going to like semi fry these and another really important part is that you need to do this on all sides of your little breadstick so like not just top and bottom but you want to all four sides of the bread make sure that they are nice and cooked Once all sides are done cooking, you're going to toss these in that cinnamon sugar to give that churro effect. All right, so I've plated up my churro French toast sticks with a little bit of dulce de leche for dipping. You could do Nutella, jam, or just leave it, leave it as it is. You could like drizzle some maple syrup over it. Honestly, do as you want. They are so good. I already bit into one. They're so delicious and nice and fluffy, fluffy, <laughs> nice and fluffy on the inside. So I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my churro French toast with a nice warm cup of coffee. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe for more recipe videos. Bye.